Hello, I'm Adrian Gelb, the president of the World Federation of Societies of Anesthesiologists, the WFSA. It's my uh, privilege and pleasure to speak with you about World Anesthesia Day, celebrated annually on the 16th of October. Uh, my uh, contact information and Twitter handle are uh, here, should anybody uh, wish to contact me. And the uh, URL for the WFSA website is here, and I would encourage you to uh, use our website and to peruse it carefully. World Anesthesia Day commemorates an event that fundamentally changed medical practice. It revolutionized it, and that was the first successful public demonstration of ether anesthesia on the 16th of October, 1846. And we celebrate World Anesthesia Day every year. The objectives are to raise the profile and understanding of how anesthesia strengthens safe patient care, how we contribute to safe patient care, and the leadership that we play and have played and will continue to play in leading on patient safety. We use this opportunity on this special day to reach out to healthcare providers, to hospital administration, to politicians, to the public with our message about anesthesia and our contributions. Anesthesiologists experience a high degree of occupational fatigue, burnout syndrome, <clears throat> resulting in chemical dependence, mental depression, and even suicidal thoughts and occasionally, sadly, suicidal actions. There is a very clear link between occupational health and patient safety. Unhealthy, stressed, burnt out providers do not provide safe patient care. Self-care, <clears throat> well-being, resilience are trainable skills. The theme for 2020's World Anesthesia Day is occupational well-being of anesthesiologists. This has been for quite some time an important topic for WFSA and has resulted in our partnership with other organizations, including the Brazilian Society of Anesthesiologists, in producing and maintaining this excellent monograph on occupational well being in anesthesiologists. You can download it uh, for free from the WFSA website. The call to action is fairly simple consider what strategies you, you and your colleagues use to reduce the stress and improve well-being in our workplace. Print a poster from the WFSA website. This is a, our homepage. And you'll find down here on the bottom right hand, a link to resources for World Anesthesia Day. Lots of information, uh, including a poster printout. That poster printout looks like this. And we ask each of you to put in one or more uh, lessons that you've learned that improve your well being. This is one of the important lessons I learned early in my career. We ask you to take a photo of yourself with your printed poster or a group of you and your colleagues together with your tips and recommendations. Share this advice, your experience via social media. There are a number of uh, different handles. And this is the WFSA uh, Twitter handle uh, and our presence on uh, Facebook. Uh, I encourage you to create, if it doesn't already exist, 
and support well-being initiatives in your department, in your hospital, in your national society. We need to work together to look after each other because a healthy, strong anesthesia workforce is crucial for patient safety. Talk to your colleagues, to fellow healthcare providers of all sorts, to your hospital leadership and the public, both in your social interactions and opportunities you may have with the press to communicate the importance of well being in providing safe care and especially in high stress environments such as anesthesiology. Let's work together on this. Let's raise our voices together on this day to improve anesthesia provider well being and to raise the profile of our specialty among ourselves, among our colleagues, among other healthcare providers, and among the public and those with political and administrative influence. I wish you a great and successful World Anesthesia Day 2020.